Is it even possible to get better at Warzone? I don't even know. Sometimes, some days, I really don't know if it is possible to get any better at this freaking game. But that's what we're here to put the test to today. We're here to see if it's actually possible to get better at Warzone by consistently playing. Which is exactly what I've done. My last Warzone video was about a month ago and since then I have consistently played Warzone games to see if I've gotten better and I've recorded every single one of them. And today we've compiled the best Warzone gameplay clips that I have been able to gather in this last month of playing Warzone. Now, don't get me wrong, I am definitely no Nick Merckx, but I am pretty okay at the game, okay? I really do think we got some pretty cool clips here. I, I'm, I'm no professional by any means, but let's go ahead and dive into it and see just how much I've improved in this last month of playing Warzone, and I want you guys to decide if it's possible to actually improve in this game, or if it's just impossible. This first clip is a duos match with my boy Damien! And let me tell you guys, I'm a lot better when I got a teammate with me. Boom! Sniper shot! Boom! Look at that, man. Look at that. Weird. I, I, I got a white hit marker with a sniper as he was down. I ended up having to finish him off with this freaking assault rifle. And then I got high alert from about 15 different angles. Because I have all the, all the perks. You guys know that little token thing you can pick up that gives you all the perks? Yeah, I got high alert from about 15 different angles. Getting my butt railed. I had to run up the stairs. I, I was scared for my life, man. It was, th th this is a crazy game. And it, it, it was crazy from the very beginning. I knew exactly where this hole was because I had tracker. Boom, look at that. Flawless aim. Literally could not have been better. I'm, I'm absolutely amazing. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, oh, look at that aim. Damn, look at that. My aim's improving right off the bat. I bet you guys noticed. Mm-hmm. High alert again. Boom. Look at that. Had to flip around. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. High alert all over the place. Yeah, look at that. Flawless aim. Absolutely flawless. Hot damn. The thing that every good Warzone player needs is some loot. That's really what gives you the leg up in every single fight that you get in in Warzone is good loot, good materials, and that's definitely what happened right here. Having the advanced UAV telling me exactly where these boneheads were is exactly why I took them both out, and, and I did it flawlessly too, because I'm, I'm lighting things up with this C-58 class, okay? This C-58 gun... I'm absolutely lighting. I'm torching kids. I mean, I mean, it, it's not even fair, man. I, I do feel bad sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I end my matches and, and I feel a little bit bad for the kids that I just absolutely railed. I'm feeling like Nicky Boy Mercs over here, okay? I mean, look at this. I'm This is sniper range with, with an assault rifle. That, that's sniper range type shit right there. Like, I... I I feel bad for the kids, man. I really do feel bad for these kids. And then these close range encounters that I'm not even expecting where arguably I shouldn't have even gotten the kill. It's all good. Torching kids. All in the same game. All in the same game. Oh, I bet you didn't know that I could see you. Well, well, I can. Here's Johnny, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bet you didn't know that I could see you right there. Oh, that's sad for you. Feels bad. My absolute favorite thing about all these clips so far is how clueless some of these teams are that I'm going up against with my boy Damien. Like... How just like they have no idea what's coming. There's a freight train coming their way and they're just standing there right in the middle of the stairway. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thinking I'm not going to blow through them. And I am. And it's just sad to see. It really is sad to see the cluelessness. Oh, look at this. Oh, boom. Lasered. Absolutely laid out. Best player ever. Oh, I'm going to do some strategically thinking here. I'm going to, I see high alert. I'm, I'm doing some planning. I'm thinking here. Best player in the world. Oh, what am I going to do? Worst player in the world. It probably shouldn't ever pick up the game of Warzone again. That was bad. Okay, definitely did not mean to get into the truck there. Let's see what we can make happen with that. Oh, I see a four-wheeler. Oh, Home Slice did not get off in time. Oh, wow. That is some high-class aim right there. That's oh, he's right there, right in front of my face. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see what I can do. Boom. MLG Pro. Damien put about 50 bullets into him, and I finished him off with about one bullet. But, you know, I'm the MLG pro here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on. Okay, we got a motorcycle over there. This is this is about to get crazy. I I, I feel like, because we got a truck coming in behind us, and, and now things are about to go down. Okay? I, I, I feel a little scared. Things are... Things are definitely about to go down. There's been a lot of improvement on my part. I've been getting myself into some strategic positioning to get plays like this. Look at that. That's something I would not have done about a month ago from now. I I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about positioning and how important it is. Uh, but not a lot about aim, especially getting someone in the big Bertha. Wow, I really just let him get away, didn't I? Well, I certainly did not let this guy get away. Whew! Poor soul. Like I said, I truly do think things are improving. I think I'm getting a lot better, especially with my positioning. I'm really thinking things through a lot cleaner than I normally do. Uh, I, I can I can definitely tell a difference in my decision making. Right there, we got a good play right there. 
I mean, my decision making is great. Our positioning has always been on point. I feel like I'm always in a great position uh, to improve in the game and, and get myself a win. I'm always in that great position. I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know if I've been reading up or watching some videos. I don't know what's been going on, but I just feel like I'm always in the right spot to get myself a win. Moving on to the next clip here. This guy stands absolutely no chance whatsoever. That was a really poor play on his part. Don't know what he was thinking. Neither does this guy over here. Okay, well, maybe he does because of that aim. That that was pretty good. Let's see if we can recover from that. We, we got to be able to... Okay, we got the beat there. Okay, we know where he's at. Come on. Okay. All right. All right, I like it. Boom. Recovered. Recovered like a boss. We got dead silence and we have a heartbeat right here. Boom. This guy does not stand a chance. Oh, he does not stand a singular chance. Slide on in there. Miss 90% of my shots, but still get the kill. No one pulls off missing an entire mag's worth of shots like JDO. I mean, look at that. I hopped out of the car for absolutely no reason. Missed most of my shots and then got Damien killed. And then, and then we hopped out of there like there was nothing to it. I mean, I mean, look at that. We're both down, both popping self reses because I decided to hop out of the car and miss 90% of my shots. And Damien ends up dying. Look at that, man. I mean, there's no one does it with more style than JDO. Absolutely no one. Okay, we got a little chase down here. Oh, yeah, missing most of my shots again. Classic JDO. Wow. I... I literally cannot tell if I'm getting better from watching these clips. Some of them, I'm like, damn, I'm good. And other ones, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I, I can't tell. All right, somebody doesn't know that I know exactly where they are. My favorite, my favorite. Oh, yeah, he's got no idea. This dude's clueless. Woo! See, look at that aim. That was pretty dead on. That, that, that was some good aim. All right, we're pretty late into the game. We got a real shot at winning this. Good shots there. Okay, we just both got taken out by, by a sticker. We both got taken out by the same sticker grenade. Wow. Guys, just just watch this. Just just watch. Just wait. Seventy-five bullets. Okay. Just think about that number. We got set. We got seventy-five. We got seventy-five bullets. Okay. All right. We're we're down to thirty-eight. Okay. Shield just cracked. All right. That that took an entire seventy-five bullets. Am I getting better at the game? Someone please tell me. And then we got clips right here like this, where it just makes me think, wow, I'm Nick Merckx. I, I truly am. Look at this. We got we got one guy right in there, cracked shield. Oh, his teammate's in here too. Boom, cracked, boom, gone. Team wiped, not even close. And then we got other clips like this, where I truly think I should go into the MLG League or whatever like that, the Major League Gaming League. I, I really do think so. We got ourselves a guy falling right here. I mark him for Damien. And then I snipe him and he's gone. Boom, just like that. Oh, somebody else is going to the other tower over here literally at the exact same time. Oh, okay, you know. Oh, I see him. Oh, look at that. He's, he's, he's right there. Boom, doesn't even stand a chance. And then, oh my gosh, we downed him as well. Major League Gaming, what, you guys want to hit me up or should I reach out to you first? I'm not sure which one. I love Storm Stragglers. Those guys that just stay like at the edge of circle all the way until it closes. I, I just love them because they're clueless. They're desperate. They're, they're backed into a wall. People think it's a strategy. It's not. It's not at all. Speaking of something that people think is a strategy that's not, it is camping, especially without Ghost. And it's not. And I learned that in this last month of playing Warzone. I learned really quickly that camping inside of a house is just not like a really good strategy. Look at this right here. This was some smart plays. I used my own cluster strike or whatever the heck that was called, precision air strike on the house, downed someone, ran up there and just finished him off. I, I, I hit every single one of those shots flawlessly. Absolutely amazing. Now this right here is actually the craziest war zone clip I think I've ever gotten. I was backed into a corner here. There's people above me, people around me. I was not ready for it. I didn't know Damien was far away from me. That's that, that's whatever. Now Damien comes I lose in the gulag, okay? Don't don't talk about it. Damien comes back, downs them both, downs them both, and then comes and buys me back. It was a clutch buyback, okay? Damien! This is where things get crazy. As I'm coming back down onto my loot, I mean, just watch what happens here. I come back so I can get my stuff. Well, it turns out the guy who killed me took my stuff, so I have just a little Milano here. We're getting railed. We're getting attacked. These guys are trying to hit us with their cars and their trucks. They're not even hopping out to kill us. They're just trying to hit us with them. Just driving around the whole place. So, uh, he, he's, he's fighting someone. Uh, and then this truck dude actually decides to get out as well. Um, which, which we didn't expect. His teammate got out and got clapped by Damien. Well, Damien then gets clapped by him. And then I come and I clap him. And then I revive Damien. So two clutch parts right on, right, I mean, just right back to back. Maybe it was a lot crazier in the moment. I don't know. It, it was pretty crazy, okay? We got some more really dumb strategies that just don't work lying under these little crates or whatever they're called. Just doesn't work. I mean, you're cornered. You're, you're absolutely cornered from every direction. It just doesn't work. Now, here comes some pretty crazy endgame stuff. This was, I mean, this is about as intense as it can possibly get. We're, we're right near the end. Me and Damien can smell that win. 
We come up on these two guys right here. It was hard to see them. They were camouflaged in a bunch of different loot. And and luckily I saw them both and was able to to get them down. But I mean, we're 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 getting right down to it. We're getting right down to the end here. We're seeing a lot of back-to-back -back squads, a lot of back-to-back -back people. The circle is pretty much done. We're basically at the very end of the last circle before it just starts moving to different parts and instead of shrinking more. That's basically where we're at. And it we're seeing people all around. We know where basically everyone is. And it's all a matter of who's got the best ground. We had the high ground. We had the high ground in the remaining circle. But we didn't know which angles we were exposed from. And unfortunately, Damien was exposed from an angle that he could not foresee. And he got taken down. And it was pretty much up to me. There was no way I could go and get him. He was just way too out in the open. So it was all left to me. And I feel like I did a pretty good job. I actually really do feel like I did a fantastic job at absolutely letting the mask rail us and strip us of the win. That's that's exactly what happened. That was 100% the mask's fault. Quads time, baby! Boom! Yeah, that's right. That's quads time. We're playing some quads with my boys, and let me tell you guys, most of my Warzone experience comes from solos. A little bit of duos here and there with some of my friends, but never quads. I almost never, ever play quads. So this was a very unique experience for me, and I liked it a lot. It was a lot different than solos. It really reminded me fast how, how bullcrap solos is and how i've been grinding for that solos win on on camera for so long it, it reminded me of how dumb it is solos is a heaping pile of crap compared to duos trios and quads even duos is a little bit of bullcrap but anyways this is where i really shined i was playing some of the best warzone i've ever played in this quads match it, it was a lot of fun we were smoking through kids and let me, it was just a lot of fun. There was a lot of strategy that went into it, but not like over the top hard strategy like in solos. It was like, it was pretty, it was pretty easy. I feel like I truly kind of blew through these kids. What do you mean by that? I mean, yeah, look at that, man. Just getting my armor ripped off. It was, it was super easy. Wow. But actually, quads was a very unique and very fun experience. I'm really glad that I hopped into quads with some of my friends. It, it, it was good. I mean, just look at that, man. Super unique. Some of my best plays in the entire video is going to be during these quads matchups. I mean, I was ripping through people like one, two, three, four at a time all by myself. It was pretty crazy. I mean, look at this, dude. It, right here, the best play of the entire video so far. I really did actually have some shining moments in my quads gameplay captures right here. I mean, we did pretty good. Aim was on point. My uh, my rushing was on point. We had teamwork involved. It was fun. It was a good time. We got really close to a win quite a few times. But I, like I said, the whole point of this video is for you guys to see if it's like really possible to improve in Warzone and get a lot better. And so far, I'm thinking it is, especially compared to my last video. That is some. That was not a good timing for a clip to be put right there where... That was my aim. Oh, gall. I will say, though, Quad's endgame is about as intense as it gets. There are people everywhere in a small circle. It's not like that with solos. I mean, solos, by the time the fourth circle closes, there's eight people left and 90% of Verdansk is left. And you don't really see anyone until, like, 15 minutes later. That's not the case with Quad's. And like I said, this is completely new to me. It was a brand new experience. And I really liked it a lot. There were people everywhere from every direction. And this is where I got most of my kills was in the end game. It was a lot. Oh, man. It was a lot of fun. This is where I think I really shined and stood out was right here in the very end game. It was a lot of fun, man. It was quite a lot to process. So I'll just let you guys watch these next couple of seconds. The storm's coming in hot right behind me. We got a whole squad on the mountain with their sights all over us. It was getting intense. Hands were sweaty. Pits were sweaty. It was all coming down to this right here. I, I was scared for my life. I was scared for my... I thought it was all over right here. We had one, one squad mate left, and that's it. And he came in clutch with the self-revive. Let's go. We had three squads left, us and two others. And it was all down to this right here. Most intense moment of the entire gameplay so far was this moment right here. The end game of this game was absolutely nuts. I barely saw someone through the railing right here decided to light him up and actually cracked his armor. But my teammate started getting lit up from above and I didn't even see it until after it was too late. I mean, just heartbreaking. A heartbreaking way to lose. 
But like I said, I think we're improving. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's about all that we have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the improvement so far? This is something I want to do monthly. Do a, like a monthly check-in. See how my Warzone skills are coming along. Because, uh... I'm trying to get a lot of wins. I'm trying to provide some entertainment, and it's not fun watching someone get smoked all the time. I think I've improved. I really do think the improvement from last month's episode has been quite, quite insane. So let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out!